Hey there, what's up, Internet? My name is Blacklight Attack, and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold Mono Bug. I'm gonna have to get used to saying that. I keep wanting to say, cause I didn't take a break between this and Platinum, and I keep wanting to say, like, welcome to Pokemon Platinum Meglog mode, etc. But, can't say that no more. So, anyway, we just got our new Totodile, and uh, Professor Elm with his, uh, his horrible, um, unreadable accent. You can't even tell what this is supposed to be anymore. Apparently wants to say something. Wait one second. Eh? What? Eh? You got something to say? Hold on a second. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I give you my number. Oh, please don't. No, I don't want... I don't want any numbers. I said that at the beginning. I'm a... I'm a solo, independent woman. I don't need no man. So... I'll call you if anything comes up. I'll call you for the booty calling, yeah. God, get the fuck out of here. Right, that, that was actually better this time. I've had a day break in between, uh... When I first started the run versus just uh, attempting his accent. Now I think it worked better with the uh, the little added. I don't know. I feel like it was easier to do the the fake accent I was going for. Don't get me wrong. It's still supposed to be really fake. I can't really do a good actual impression. So if you are from one of the countries that I'm doing an impression of, um, when it when it comes to accents, uh, just to tell you ahead of time, they're not gonna be good. I'm not trying to actually represent what you guys sound like. It's all just jokes, so don't take it too personally. I know it's going to be awful. Uh, let's go ahead and set that fast. Um, that should be good. Okay. I mean, if things get a little bit too easy, I might set it to um, set battle mode. Is it set or shift? I forget which one it is. But basically the opposite of the... Uh, whatever. Whatever's not the, um, the default, which is... Basically meaning whenever you're fighting a trainer who has more than one Pokemon, when their Pokemon gets knocked out, you don't get that option to switch out in correspondence to what they're about to send out. Because um, that really does make things a lot easier. Instead, it's more like more like the original, like, you know, kind of uh, the battle modes. Oh, keep out of, you, t you keep out of the tall grass. And also, get the fuck out of my way. Let's go ahead and fast forward walk a little bit here. Because I don't really know these routes too well. Like I said, this is one of the games I didn't grow up with. And... Um, I haven't played Heart Gold since like right when it came out. I actually did do, you know what's funny is I did do a monotype challenge before. I didn't finish it because um, I did choose a bad type. But it was on Heart Gold, believe it or not, and the typing was um, rock type. I did I did rock type um, mono rock. So that was, that was kind of fun. It's just that a lot of rock types evolve really late in the game. And I sort of like planned my team ahead of time. Um, I, I had a really active Platinum file that I played the absolute shit of, which is why I know the Platinum map relatively well, at least compared to this one. And, uh, when it came to it, do we, uh, do we have any Pokeballs? Uh, I know that one guy gave us some potions. Nah, we don't have any Pokeballs yet. Okay. Um, so, what do you want, Fatty? So, I had a really active Pokemon Platinum run that I, I, I used a lot, so I had a lot of Pokemon for breeding and stuff, and... I made a whole bunch of rock type eggs and then moved them over to uh, to the heart gold file because I had two DS's and th this wasn't like hacked or anything. Um, can I not? Since there's nothing to put it in, oh, I don't have the apricorn pocket yet. Um, I moved a bunch of rock type eggs over and then I would like hatch one egg per area and that that didn't end up that didn't end up being very good because. Uh, like I said, you're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everybody's a rookie at some point. No, please don't teach me a few things. I don't want you to teach me anything. I forgot that you are. Oh, well, if you're going to give me the running shoes, you can teach me whatever you want. Uh, and the thing is, Rock-type Pokemon generally can take a long time to level up. And I wasn't using Geodude for some reason, who's like kind of the, the baseline uh, Rock-type. I, I was using a bunch of guys that didn't evolve at all until like level 40, and I just kind of lost patience with it. But um, funny enough... Rock type being the one type I actually have done before was the very bottom vote <laughs> for this for this run since you guys vote Yeah, please just give me the running shoes and fuck off, please. Plus Press the sprint button or hold down B. Okay, whatever. Now can't you just like click it and then they're on yes, and now you don't even have to hold B anymore. That is fantastic. Okay, so I think if we go a little bit north, uh there will be some bug types maybe. Uh or fucking speedy ass old man, speedy gone old ass is gonna. Uh, I forgot one thing. It's about there's another token from me. The guy gent. His name is the guy gent. That's the best name ever. Are you kidding me? Okay, yeah. Okay, so we got the map. That's fine. Okay, I don't care. 
All right, so I think we can maybe find a bug type in here, and this this could be our starter. I think it might be like caterpies in here. Ooh, maybe they're only out during the day, because this is not the daytime. Definitely, definitely not. Um, and as much as I love Totodile, oh, somebody pointed out, yes, yeah, Spinarak! That's going to be our starter, baby! Oh, wait, no, I don't have any Pokeballs. <laughs> Sorry, Spinarak, I'll come back for you in a minute. Um, what was I saying? Oh, somebody pointed out that because I picked Totodile, uh, my rivals type is going to be grass and that means that it's the one starter that I could have picked who has a uh, who has a weakness uh, please don't faint totodile uh, who has a weakness to bug type I think we're gonna black out here oh he oh he survived the poisoning okay I forgot that I forgot that happened in this generation okay um, I'm talking in my usual just uh, disjointed fashion so I actually have the advantage over the grass type and I wouldn't have had the advantage over anything else which is kind of funny. That wasn't planned. Really, my only thought process in choosing a starter was, oh, fuck yeah, Totodile, and nothing else. Um, so that that was just sort of a happy coincidence for me. Uh, but to be fair, the only way I would have been at a disadvantage with the with the starter uh, of, of my rival would be if I chose Chikorita. And Chikorita is easily my least favorite of the Generation 2 starter, so I wouldn't have picked Chikorita. I would uh, definitely Totodile followed by... Um, Cyndaquil, and then, uh, is this it? Are we, I guess I just have to head north. I should probably be reading some of the things that people are saying. Mm. Mm. Maybe not. You're not helpful at all. Come on, man. Help me out here. Tell me what I'm supposed to be doing, because I forgot. I think I'm supposed to go see Mr. Pokemon, so I guess I should level this Totodile up a little bit. I've been running from a lot of battles, but speed run, baby! Let's do that speed run. I wonder what Pokemon speed runs are like. I've been watching a lot of speed runs lately. Um, well, not a lot, perhaps, but I've been watching specifically a speed run of my favorite game of all time, Final Fantasy VII, which I'm also let's playing, by the way. Plug, plug, plug. Um, but there's this one guy who speed runs it every weekday. He plays through the entire game every weekday in about eight hours. Um, yeah, dude, I totally feel like I'm flying. Also, I dropped a lot of LSD, so it's not just the shoes. Is this Mr. Pokemon's house? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm looking for Bishop Pokemon's house. You did mean to visit my house, right? How kind of you. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruit once a day. And and I have one of those trees, too. Apricorns are really something. You can make Pokeballs and other things. They're, they are quite useful. I have a feeling this is meant to be. I'm so happy that I'll give you this. Oh, boy, the apricorn box. Fucking A. All right, well. Apricorns would be a decent apricorn collector. Okay, so I guess you're not Mr. Pokemon. He knew that I was looking for Mr. Pokemon, though. He's just taunting me at this point. But, anyway, so it's just really interesting. This game that I've played since I was, like, nine years old. Um, and I, I replay Final Fantasy VII a lot. I usually replay it about once every two years. And considering I, or I started when I was nine and I'm now 25, you can do the math. But I've, I've played that game a lot, is what I'm trying to say. And, um... Seeing somebody speedrun it and seeing the strategies that go into it are actually really, really fascinating. And, like, characters that I very rarely use, like Tifa. There's a character named Tifa in there who I never really use. Most characters are interchangeable in that game. The only thing that sets them apart are their special moves called Limit Breaks. And Tifa has a set of really underwhelming Limit Breaks. So I never really used her much um, in uh, in Final Fantasy VII. But in a speedrun, she's, like, the best character. She's hands down, like, the reason your speedrun is even possible. Because she just has a weapon that you can, uh, you can manipulate some of the... Some of the uh, basically, it's a weapon that powers her up when she's about to die, so you can manipulate her status and her and her current uh, you know level of health and all that to make it so that she's always just about to die but never dies, and then she just deals like fucking four thousand damage at a point of the game when like everybody else is doing like maybe I don't know six like six hundred damage. It's pretty interesting. Anyway, I think this is Mr. Pokemon's house. Yeah, give me that shit. I'm jacking your apricorns. It's a pink apricorn. You know, no vowels in that shit. Always like that. All right, let's go. Oh, it's Professor Oak. You must be blah. It was I who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. Oh, so you're Mr. Pokemon. Well, well, well. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. The mystery egg. Oh, my God. I bet a Pokemon comes out of it. A friend of mine from U uh, Ecrutique gave it to me. I'm never going to be able to say that word correctly. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Droto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what this is. He's the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You are Isn't he standing right there? Isn't that awkward to call him the famous Professor Oak when he's like right there? You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. 
Thank you. That was really nice of you, actually. I, I keep yelling at these NPCs, and then they do something nice for me. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're blah. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. That's that's creepy, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, what's this, a rare Pokemon? I see, you must be pr helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Yeah, don't count on it. This guy's going right in the bank. Ah, you seem to be dependable. Would you like to help me out? My, uh, depends, I guess. See, this is the latest version of the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. All right, booyah. I would like a high-tech encyclopedia that doesn't only keep track of wildlife. Anyway, I've stayed, I've stayed too long. Gotta go to Goldenrod to get my Rod Golden. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get some stank on my hang low. Okay, or you can just take my number without asking. He just took it. He didn't ask for it, he just took it. Anyway, you got Pokeballs for me or something? Yeah, I guess not. Alright, well, um, oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hold on, somebody hit me up. I'm blowing up. Hello? Blah? It's a disaster. Um, it's just terrible, yeah. What should I do? Oh, oh no, Swedish fish. Please get back here now to Ikea. Well, oh, crap. Okay, well, something's going down in Ikea. Also known as Professor Elm's Lab. So, uh, I'm gonna cut it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and just to, uh, remind you guys, the next episode is going up on Monday, and I'll have some Final Fantasy VII for anybody who's following that series over the weekend. And, uh, yeah, that'll do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did indeed enjoy the video, and I will see you guys next time, when we'll probably catch a bug Pokemon. Goodbye.